North Carolina News at 6 starts now. Jerry, get out of there! Jerry, get out of there! A state of emergency in North Carolina. That is the word from Governor Pat McCrory as the Queen City deals with a second night of violent protests. Police once again donned riot gear overnight and used tear gas in an effort to clear dozens of demonstrators. Authorities say at least one person was badly hurt after being shot by a civilian and several other people had, uh, had to be treated at area hospitals. Groups of protesters shut down uptown Charlotte. They were seen damaging businesses, lighting things on fire, and at times clashing with police and the media. Hello and good morning. Morning. Thanks for joining us for CBS North Carolina. I'm Stephan Chase. And I'm Russ Boa. And this is a story we've been following closely for several days now. Yeah, it all started on Tuesday when a Charlotte police officer shot and killed a black man, 43 year old Keith Scott. For the past two nights since that shooting, protests have broken out in the city with dozens of officers and civilians getting hurt in the process. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson joins us now live from Charlotte, where Charlotte's police officers are getting some reinforcements today. Right, Robert? That's right, there's still some police on hand, both from Charlotte Police and state troopers. There's also a very large media presence here. Earlier this morning, we showed you some of the damage to businesses as well as Time Warner Cable Arena. That's where the Hornets play. Bunch of broken windows there, but take a look at this vehicle over here. There's a couple of them. These are security for this area and a bunch of impact points all over the windshield. Some, looks like there's residue from something thrown on the vehicle. And the National Guard is going to be coming today to help protect property as well as people. Governor Pat McCrory issued a state of emergency, which allows him to deploy the National Guard. There's also people coming from the Department of Justice who went to Ferguson after the shooting of Michael Brown, some strategic cri uh, crisis specialists, and the president of the state NAACP will be coming to meet with elected officials and community leaders. Current Mayor of Charlotte, Jennifer Roberts, as well as the former mayor, current governor, Pat McCrory, have called for peace and calm. We want peace, we want conversation, and we also want to support our police who are right now under a great deal of stress in uh, downtown Charlotte, again, a city that I have a passion and a love for. And the SWAT team had dozens of officers here this morning. They left, most of them left around four, but some will be keeping an eye on the area and more will come back if necessary. One person is on life support in critical condition after being shot by another civilian during last night's protests. Police say four officers were hurt, none of them life-threatening, and we'll keep an eye on that throughout the day. Reporting live in Charlotte, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.